So I drew up this heart and Joshua also loved long stem roses. So I drew out the border of a heart. It's like three inches by three inches. And in the middle, I put a rose and I want it just in black and I'm gonna have it put on my neck. Hey guys, yeah, I'm back. Looking like I just got out of the shower, which I did. I've got some stuff to update you on, tell you about, in open. But I don't have a lot of time, so you're just gonna have to get ready with me while I'm telling you the story that freaking creeped me out. And the awesome time I had over the weekend, my doctor's appointment, and what I got. Let's go. I was in the shower this morning, and I don't have a small shower. My shower runs the width of the bathroom, or the length of the bathroom. It's long and it's very wide. I think it's like six feet wide. And it has tile, 12 by 12 ceramics on the walls and the tub, six by six on the tub deck, on the shower deck, and then two by twos on the floor. Why am I telling you this? We'll get there. Generally, when I'm in the shower, since it is so big and it's really a pain in the sensor edit to clean. I will, I don't know where anything is because when I unpack, I just kind of threw stuff. It's a pain in the butt to clean. So I generally try to keep like the bleach scrubbing, you know, foamy stuff in there. And I keep either a very hard bristled brush and I spray the grout. Well, I was looking at it today before I got in and it looked like it needed to be cleaned. Don't judge on this right now. I'm not done. And it's raining, so I ain't doing my hair. So I get in there, I'm in the shower, and I look at this spot that looked like, you know, the mold you get in the shower sometimes, especially since we're below, or below grade in that quarters that we live in. Didn't have my contacts on, didn't have my glasses on. Contacts in, glasses on. Yeah, okay. And I saw this spot in the grout line, which I don't know, what is the grout line? Like three eighths of an inch or something? That's smaller than that. But I saw this thing, it looked like, you know, mold. And I thought, you know, that's really kind of weird that it's growing on that wall that gets no water because the shower's so freaking big. There's no water that gets on that wall. And I reached down to get the bleach filled scrubbing whatever it was. Ooh, how's that coming out? You know, old eyes. And I sprayed it. When I sprayed it, it moved. It had legs, eight of them to be exact, and I freaked. It's not the first time it happened to me. I am going, if I can find it, I'm gonna leave in the description box what happened to me the first time one of those little arachnids, well this one, that one wasn't a little one, decide to attack me in the shower about 10 years ago. They piss me off. Let's see, let's go in order. I went to Idaho on Saturday to see a friend of mine perform, Ray Gordon. She was fabulous. I intended, I, intended to vlog the entire trip. And I did a lot, but I did not get much video at all during the performance because I was mesmerized for two reasons, three reasons, four reasons, a lot of reasons. My friends were in the band and her guitar player walked out on stage. He was the height, he was the build, he had the beard and the long hair, but his was pulled back and it looked like it was probably straight, of Joshua. When I first saw him, I really kind of freaked out a little bit. I went, it was one of those, I can't breathe moments. And so I couldn't, I couldn't film. I was watching them. They were so good. And Ray's voice is so amazing. And the drummer, dude, that drummer rocked. Saxophone player, oh my gosh, bass player. And then uh, trumpet player, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. The music was amazing. Yeah, I'm letting my hair just dry today because it's raining and um, a white blow dry it because it makes no sense. When her guitar player began to play, I lost it. It was very reminiscent of the last time I heard Joshua play live, which was after his album. And you know, he was this, this a real nice kid. Uh, I think his name is Kivit Bednar, maybe? Nice kid, I say a kid, my gosh. I'm almost 60, so like everyone's a kid. You know, he was, he came up with this huge smile and I said, oh my gosh, we just lost our son three weeks ago in his face dropped. You look and play so much like my son that I was mesmerized. This kid is good. And he was 
very sweet. They were Ray's wonderful, Dave, Alan, all of them wonderful people. Got back to the hotel room, got up early. And I tell you the drive out there, and you'll see it in the video I put together. I have a Mercedes and what it does is it has like a vehicle, uh, driver assistance thing that says uh, assistance needed you need to take a break basically because you're driving like a bat out of hell well no i was going through the gorge and through dead man's pass and the wind was so bad it was blowing my car everywhere i drove there saturday morning i got up saturday morning the show was that night trying to figure out what the hell i need don't judge It was like almost a seven hour drive to get there. And I was hauling that car. I tell you, you don't have any idea how fast you're going. It's so smooth. And I was going pretty fast and the wind was blowing a lot. There were a lot of trucks on the road and it was blowing my car. Hence the every two minutes driver assist, take a break. I do not like my car telling me when I need to take a break, but it's a cool feature. So it's blowing me all over the road. And by the time I got to Idaho or to Boise and then to get up the next morning and drive back and the wind was still really high, I felt like I had been riding my, my, like then, my motorcycle for three days straight without a windshield. I couldn't move. Mercedes get to work on that. Before I get to the doctor's appointments, I wanna tell you something. My son had a heart-shaped birthmark on the back of his neck. Now when he when he died and I was talking to the medical examiner, she was saying, well, I, I ID'd, you know, it's a positive identification because I ID'd him through his fingerprints. I said, you know, I don't know what his fingerprints look like but he has a heart-shaped birthmark on the back of his neck, almost right in the center, an appendectomy scar, a brown beard, brown hair, balding on the top, and the last time I saw him, the top of his head was infected, brown eyes. And she said, yes, all of those are present. Oh, it's hard. We, we went to the funeral home. We had him transported to a funeral home here in town so they could take care of everything. The four of us went in to ID him, and I was the last one in the room and where am I going with this? I was the last one in the room and I remember saying, is it Joshua, is it Joshua? And they weren't moving, they were looking. They weren't like turning around, this isn't our kid. So I knew it was Joshua, I just didn't want to really admit it. Oh, I know. So a friend of mine, The Process, I'll link him below, had said to me, which I hadn't thought of, but it's a really cool idea. I'm gonna put the picture in. He said, Terry, get that heart on your neck. Get a heart on your neck like Joshua's. Well, I didn't go exactly like Joshua's. And I'll insert the picture. So I drew up this heart and Joshua also loved long stem roses. So I drew out the border of a heart. It's like three inches by three inches. And in the middle, I put a rose and I want it just in black and I'm gonna have it put on my neck as a symbol for Joshua, but because I wear my hair up so much, I wanted it to be, it's gonna be seen a lot. I wanted to make sure that it was elegant. The first thing I wanted people to see was the heart because the heart is what was on his neck. And then I, what am I looking for? All I can say is be glad you're not me. So it's a pretty cool tattoo and I'm gonna have that done on the 13th and I am so looking forward to it. Now for my doctor's visit. You guys know I've been, I've, I've been fighting this heart-lung breathing issue for two years. My heart essentially is normal. I went in for a pulmonary test, just a pretty basic pulmonary function test, and one thing, we've everything was normal except for one thing. My body is not getting rid of carbon dioxide as much as it should. That kind of explains fainting spells, my dizziness, my inability to get the weight off that I want to get off. So that that happened on on Tuesday. Today I have two more doctor appointments and then at the end of the of December I have a full pulmonary function test with a CT, with the walking test, with everything because there's something up and I want to find the underlying cause because it's pissing me off. Okay, where are my hairs okay right now? I pin these little curls up. My hair has gotten naturally cur curlier so I don't mess with them and they still kind of keep their, their shape. 
if I pull if I decide to pull my hair up because it's really a crappy day out there. So a guy that I watch, I think it's Shh Moto in Canada. I think it was him. I really like the way he had his mount for his GoPro on his handlebars. And I think this is the mount that he told me to get. And what I'm thinking, you know, you have that little extra hole there that doesn't have anything on it, or at least I do, I don't know. I'm thinking this might fit in there better than my bar, my bar clamps. Oh, this is a bar mount. What the hell am I thinking about? I have another one somewhere else. I gotta figure this out. And then I got these pole mounts from Forever Cam. I hope that's focusing. And what I'm hoping is the Rick Rack, because I have the studded leather on my engine guards, the Rick Rack doesn't hold as well as I would like for it to. And sometimes they slip. And I thought this was plastic and it's not great. But this is another pole mount. Actually, I really kind of like this because it the pole mount but see it holds the camera off to the side we're gonna try that out but probably not for a while because rain has set in in oregon and this sucks i didn't sign up for this stuff i told a friend of mine today in 1990 we were headed towards sarasota florida ended up in portland oregon or in seattle i think i'm ready to head back or head to sarasota or florida or thailand panama peru Columbia, Belize, you know. I'd like to buy into a place that has, uh, where you can easy citizenship and have whole dual citizenship. The country's kind of scaring me a little bit. I guess that's it. I've missed you guys. I've been trying to catch up on everything. It's taken me a while. You know, losing Joshua really rocked my world. And his dad was very kind in sending me a message saying that he knew that I love Joshua more than anyone in the family. And that really made me feel good. Um, that someone recognized that, yeah, Joshua, he kept me going for 10 years and I'm gonna, I'm gonna start looking around now on some things. I learned some things with him and the laws and how he did qualify years ago to be made a priority case. So I'm going to actually see if I can do something about that for the other homeless that are out there. Okay guys, I am gonna finish this up so I can get to my first doctor's appointment and then I'll see you guys later, okay? Peace out until the next one. You guys have a rockin' weekend.